righty. Welcome back, guys. We are back live again. 580 and under Fargo tournament here at the Leather Pocket, Calgary, Alberta. We have a B-side match coming your way. Adam Smith, CJ Smith of No Relation. Going to do battle on the table once again. My name is Grant, sitting beside the one and only Mr. Benny Franchise Francis. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to it. <clears throat> Make sure you guys click that share button lots for us during this match. Indeed. This should be a good one. I know both these guys play fantastic. Yeah, this will be a really good match. I think they'll all be good from this point on, and uh, I don't think I've been disappointed the whole weekend. It's super tough. And good on them. I uh, said this earlier uh, yesterday. 580 and under showing us how it's done. $500 entry fee, 50 of that going to green fees and admin fees. Puts it at close to a $20,000 prize pool, $6,500 first place prize. Let's run through exactly what, uh, what those payouts are. Let me bring those up. Uh, first place prize, $6,500. Second place for $4,200. Third at $2,700. Fourth place, taking home $1,800. The 5-6 spot gets $1,200 each. The 7-8 spot for $700. We got Adam Smith breaking first here. <coughs> Powerful second ball action there. Nice spread. Really well done. He lost the cue ball a bit there. Like You don't usually see it up table on the second ball, but great spread. Mm-hmm. Uh, where are the brackets? Brackets are on Challenge. When you get on to Challenge, you want to search for high stakes U580. You'll want the second tournament that's posted, the one that has 40 players, not 38. Awesome, Kevin. Thank you very much. YouTube should also be back up and running, I hope. Yeah, we got YouTube up again. Beautiful. Follow in the chat on there as well, guys. Trying to get on the 10 ball first there, I think. It's still good. Uh, I think I'm going 15 ball, 9 ball, 11, 10, 12, 8. If he's got the 12 now, I think he does. He went over and looked. 12's near this uh, left side rail. Uh, this is a good first shot. He can punch out, get on the 10 now. That kind of solves the problem. Still works. Still okay, yeah. So then now the it's the reverse of what I said. Now 15, it's 15, 9, 11 in the top left. Yeah. 11 in the top left. Should we do the 10? Pretty easy, I think. Decent angle here, just that hair of angle, that's what you want. Yeah, just kind of punch over, get pretty straight on that 11 <coughs> ball. Ideally, dead straight in would be good, yeah. Wants to stay on the right side of the tangent line. Doesn't want to go too far to the left. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. <coughs> Making it look easy. Yeah, just roll this in, play the 8 in the top left. Take a 1-0 lead on his break. Uh -oh. uh oh, that's a big six ball. He uh, he was either trying to go into the one there, or he just lost focus a little. I feel like he, he was rushed. trying to go into the one. I think he rushed that shot compared to his pace throughout that rack. Yeah. He rushed that a little bit. It, it looked like he was trying to go into the one. And he probably thought it was just so easy to just mm -hmm. check it into the one a little. Nothing could go wrong, right? And now all of a sudden you're kicking this towards the top right. Yeah, I think that's the only shot. A little bit of right-hand spin on that cue ball. You know what I try to do on this shot? Mm -hmm. Find the angle to scratch. The angle where if the eight wasn't there, mm -hmm. you just make the cue ball in the pocket. Yep. And then just, <laughs> that's like your reference point, right? Yep. Because you know how to scratch. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to do that. Only thing is you got to watch the cue ball coming off the eight for the mm -hmm. side pocket. Yeah. He gave that a pretty good effort. He sure did. So that will bring CJ to the table. Could be a costly mistake. 
oftentimes the next time you shoot, you're down to nothing. CJ to break next. Adam's not going to be happy with himself there. Just one lapse in focus. Yeah. And he, he worked through that rack first. really, really well. Uh, Ben's Fargo is 725-ish. Five -ish. So um, it goes up and down, too. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is not anywhere close to that. I am down at 613. Going back up to where I normally think I should be. You're, you're on up and up. I had mine where I thought I should be at somewhere between 640-ish. And uh, went and played a couple of Tortola events and it got crushed. <laughs> it got crushed. Nine foot pool. Nine foot Tortola uh, handicap. And uh, yeah, it uh, Good times. dropped like a rock. Good times. A little short there. He'd little rather bit. be on the four, so you can just shoot the seven first here. It will still work. Just don't shoot the four. Don't don't like talk yourself into shooting the no, four. You know? No. Sometimes you think, oh well, I'll just draw, I'll get on the seven. You know? Yeah, it played off the two ball. Yeah. Next thing you know, the two's behind the eight. Yeah, or you try to power stroke it with bottom, and draw to the rail, get to the seven first. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I, now I like taking the four first. This is perfect angle. Looks like he's going to take the two first. Flick yeah. it. That's good, too. That will work. I'm more like the the the, uh, the four ball first there, though. Yeah, it was more natural. A little bit easier to control. You never can tell sometimes with that little flick yeah, you end up whether straight it's going to work in your favor or not. You end up straight in on that ball. Yeah. Now all of a sudden you're laying up below the eight, shooting in a long pocket, and things can go wrong. Not for this guy. Nope. C.J. Smith drawing first blood. C.J. plays on some, some good Edmonton teams. I've seen him at like lots of those big events, westerns and such. Good player. <clears throat> These Smiths, they play well. They do. <laughs> no relation. Although Smith is uh, about the most common last name you're ever going to find. I think it. Possibly is. Like, uh -huh. if you Googled what's the most common last name, it's Smith. probably Smith. For sure. Yeah. Zemp is right up there, too, you know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Zemp is not very common. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. He broke second ball, too, and hit it perfect. Wow. Look at that table. I like that. Because in the last match, we saw Sandy hit head ball, come up dry, hill, hill. Mm-hmm. I felt that, that pain yesterday. Uh huh. <laughs> Smashing head ball, coming up dry. The minute I switched the second ball, I had way more luck. Then I got brave, switched back to head ball. <laughs> you know, and Whoops. Now, and now I'm here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah not there. You there. Go. <laughs> but I've nearly perfected that second ball break at moments. And man, is it sweet when you're hitting it oh, good. Oh, yeah, when you're hitting the second ball good. Nice thing I always tell everyone, like the odds of scratching on a second ball break, you have to hit it so bad. Yeah. You have to hit it so bad or get really, really well, unlucky. The it's chances like are that if you if you scratch on that break, you didn't hit the second ball. You hit the yeah, first ball. You clipped half of the first or you clipped the third ball or something. But yeah. Or it just like super unlucky goes through the pack and misses everything. Yeah, I've had that happen. But it's probably like if I could put odds on, it's like 1 in 20. Mm-hmm. You'll scratch like once every 20 times you hit second ball. Mm -hmm. Where head ball, I feel like even the good players are like 1 in 10. Yep. Like 10% of the time they're going to just scratch like straight in the side or get kicked in the top corner, right? Yeah. CJ's got to be careful here. This is, uh, I mean, it's a runnable table, but keep you can to, also kind of get yourself into trouble here. Yeah, he keeps trying to get that window between the 5-7. He missed it there. He's going to try again. And I'm, I'm not a fan of really leaving that 12 ball till last. Not ideally. Oh, he's spinning between that. That's a good shot. That is a good shot. That just ensures that he can see it. Yeah, and control that 13. You don't want the two for one here. Should lay up right over the hole. 
then you're going to have to navigate some balls to get on the 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is not ideal draw here, I think. You're, uh, I think you're going to have to. But it's a little bit of angle, which makes it, it wants to like punch off the rail, mm -hmm. at which point you're kind of going towards the one ball here. And I don't mind that if uh, if you catch the underside of one, you're traveling in the oh oh. This is gonna work. He got away with it, big time. Not only got away, but landed absolutely perfect. <laughs> yeah, not terrible. That's for sure. This is like where you want to be. Oh no! I, I can't believe he went into the eight there. Yeah, he, had, he was close enough to the ball that you can soft spin it mm -hmm. and, and hold it easier. We play it yeah. outside, right? Yeah. He's still got a shot here. He could still cut this in. He doesn't like the cut. He can bank it. But I think he just well, cut the, the cut in the bottom the, left. I agree. The cut brings in the uh, that right-hand side pocket, so you do have to be wary of that. you got to play some siding. Yeah. So just pick one side or the other. I, I tend to like inside here. It makes the thin, hitting it thin a little easier. Mm -hmm. But you can make a case for the other side because now you're throwing the ball a little more, change yeah. the angle. Just one or the other. Yeah. See, and I'm better with outside in this shot than I am with inside. I tend to hit it too thick. That's the problem. That outside. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm like thinking it's going to throw more, yeah. but it's such a thin hit. It is. Yeah. It, it almost doesn't much. take. Yeah. yeah. I'm more putting the outside on to avoid the the uh, side pocket as sure. opposed to yeah. throwing the uh, the eight ball in. Yeah. And if you don't throw it enough with the left spin, like trying to stay underneath the side. Mm-hmm. You can just go straight in the side. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get enough inside, and it just goes straight. Yeah. But I do think you have to cut this. There's a case to be made. For, I don't know about cutting the side. Is he cutting it in the side? Yeah, this is a thin, thin shot with a very wild cue ball. Well, he can go in off the seven into the corner. Oh, cut by a lot. But you know what? This is going to work out Whoa, not terrible. Not terrible at all. <clears throat> he can't see the four to make it. We're looking down the barrel of that. So I think he's got to use the six to yeah. play a safe here. I think so too. Just roll up on the six. Which sucks. <laughs> sure does. <laughs> because you hate rolling it. If it rolls out a hair one way or the other, you're going to sell out. I so do you purposely play it to go underneath the five ball? Yeah, maybe under the five is better. Taking the one? The four, seven, five. It's all kinds of balls in the way there. Ooh. He's left enough to cut this in the bottom right. Not only bottom right, but that's uh, a fairly easy hit on a jump shot, too. I he don't mind the jump. About, he can see about half of the ball. Yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna you know what? It. I like your cut. I think For that's sure. the shot I'm going. Cut to the bottom right. He's going to load it up with bottom just to yeah. control the cue ball a Still bit. Still got to watch following the cue ball to the same spot. Overcut it. That's a that's a tough shot. It is blind, very tough shot. Blind pocket. You're like looking towards the bottom left, mm -hmm. <laughs> straight at the bottom left, but you're cutting <laughs> a ball in the bottom right. Yeah, your mind's sitting there <laughs> going, "What the hell?" Yeah, you're you're just looking completely away from the pocket. It's no good. Is he playing this in the corner? A little riskier, but it shows me that he's feeling confident yeah. with how he's potting, because he didn't even really flinch. It was no. like, oh, "I'll just play in the corner." Could have shot the six first. He could have done other mm -hmm. things. Oh, he caught hit that, that thick. Really thick. Could even be like temperature. The table's playing a little sloppier today. Yeah, it's a little cool. Cooler Compared than yesterday. Yesterday was hot, sun shining. Mm hmm. Ooh, I think I like playing the one ball first there. Yeah, if he was close, you know, close to straight in, the one ball was probably a better option. But Now you've got to put a little mustard on this to go around three. Three rails, yeah. Hits it like a champion, though. Yeah, he's potting re really well right now. Sure so. is, yeah. Playing at a good pace. Not, uh, not overthinking, which he could have done a couple times in that rack. We are tie ball game. And we'll put up the poster for the newest announcement that we, uh, we started uh, announcing yesterday.
And that is the start of the Q Sports Live International Pool League. Won't go into too many details uh, today. There's, there's obviously a lot of questions, a lot of details that we'll need to go over. We wouldn't have the time to do it today uh, to get every question answered. However, uh, we're hoping uh, this week you'll uh, pay attention to the Q Sports Live Facebook page. We'll be announcing a ton of information regarding the league. Um, getting a little bit more into detail, drilling down into more of the, uh, the ins and outs. Uh, hopefully we'll be in a position where we can start taking pre-registration December 1st and uh, we will kick things off with the start of play starting the week of January 4th. Ghost League to start guys and it's, it couldn't be timed better. Oh I agree. And it's it's kind of the point where, where we have to start with the ghost first. Mm -hmm. um, with you know, various stages of openness and, and so on and so forth, not only in Canada, but every country around the world for that matter. It is a worldwide league. Um, we're trying to finish up conversations and talks with, uh, with BCA and VNEA to uh, have that league sanctioned through them, uh, obviously backed by Fargo Rate. But uh, Ben and I will be going live uh, probably on Sunday, uh, a week from today, and uh, going a little bit more into detail. We'll have a few uh, hours of, uh, of a Q&A fully geared towards answering any questions and so on and so forth, taking suggestions, because ultimately it's all about you guys. We've got our ideas on how we think it should run, but uh, we want to hear from you. Tries to nudge the 14, which he does beautifully. Yeah, That's he gets it really well. Fantastic shot. It does now go into the same pocket as what the 10 will. <coughs> Wants a little bit of angle on this 12 ball. Yeah. So maybe just float the 10 in, take the, uh, the natural out angle on the 12 ball. And then I think I'm going to play the 11 before the 14. Just mm -hmm. because the 11 to the 8 is like from every angle, there's so many balls in the way, right? Yep. Like the two ball would come into play going one way, and then the five seven would sort of come into play going the other way. Mm -hmm. So try to get on the 11 after the 12. And if the 11 goes in the bottom right by the I'm two, sure it does. which I'm sure it does, mm -hmm. and then you get any angle on it from the left side, and that leads you to 14 nice and easy. He's a little Ooh. straight on this ball, a lot straight. He might be thinking play the 14 next now. I don't like it. No idea, Tyler. No idea how that's going to work. <laughs> yeah. I know that with, uh, with VNEA, they have full plans uh, to go ahead next year. Uh, I talked with, uh, with Greg Elliott mm, 10 days ago, give or take. Um, and they are full plans to uh, to move ahead with the with the playoffs next year. So, end of May. Lots can lots can change by then. We just gotta wait it out, see what happens. Yeah, but hopefully with uh, you know with the league that we've got, if we can get uh, qualifying weeks um, by playing the ghost um, and have it all sanctioned, uh, hopefully that's the, uh, the answer. That's what we're, that's what we're trying for. Yeah. We're hoping you guys could get weeks to qualify for at least singles play yes. in, in the first oh. year. Oh, that couldn't be any closer. Yeah. Both Can't horns. Can't get closer without making the ball there. Both horns. If it hits one horn, you didn't get that close. <laughs> if it hits multiple horns, you got pretty close. That one caught both. And he had good shape on the 14 ball. Yeah, he was nearly perfect. So CJ doesn't mind the miss. He'll take full advantage. I think these guys are getting pretty close to the money round here too. Mm -hmm. Top seven. I uh, think actually these guys are probably already in the money. I feel like this is the seventh, eighth spot. Yes. So seventh, eighth is money. Yeah, they paid the, the start of the game. Yeah. yeah. Got a little funny here, though. Makes this match a little easier to play, knowing you're not going broke. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going home with nothing. Yeah, you make a, I think uh, with a $500 entry, these guys take so take home 700 bucks, so you're up a couple hundred. Yeah, seven's correct, yeah. 
which to me is like winning a weekly tournament, 200 bucks yeah. to your head. That's Nothing it. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. Got to play some high pressure pool. Yeah, good experience. Really good. Adam with an extra chance at this rack. I don't think we're going to see too many extra chances anymore in this tournament. No, and uh, you know, it always seems to be with the first couple of racks, uh, especially on the stream table. Um, you know, things are, are a little bit off. And then within a couple of racks, they both kind of settle in. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've kind of seen that throughout the entire time. Because I know you're extremely uh, versed in playing on the live stream. I still get a little nervous. Yeah. Who, who wouldn't? Yeah. Well, if you're if you're not nervous, you're not doing something right. Yeah, you're not. You're, you're not, not human. Not alive. Check the pulse. That's a nice force over. That was actually really good. Mm -hmm. Nice little draw shot to the left-hand side of the eight ball. Yeah. I think I draw all the way to the side rail rather than like try to draw it to the top rail. I like going all the way to the side rail. Yeah, sort of like that. Yeah, that works perfect. Adam takes full advantage. 2-1, Mr. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one bet I would be willing to make in that Mr. Smith will win this match. Can we post the payouts? Mr. J. Chinook would like to know. I don't, I don't know. Uh, Do we have that technology? Uh, <laughs> maybe. I'll see if Mark can take a screenshot of what he's got and yeah, send we'll it to me, and I'll, we'll figure it out. We'll find a way. It'll have to be on the next shutdown, but uh, we'll make it happen. Yeah, we'll get it figured out. All you need to know, Jay, is 6,500 first prize. Yeah. <laughs> And I know you're cheering on your boy CJ here, so that's all he's got to know. That's it, 6,500 <laughs> bucks for two days worth of work. Don't look at the pay jumps. Right? Don't look at the pay jumps. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. Yeah, can you just can think, you? I'm gonna win the tournament That's still. it, that's it. Can somebody sign me up to win 65? Right? Like you, you can- I would love that. You could look to know that you're not going home empty handed right I'm now. I'm going home empty handed. But I'm negative 200 for this event. <laughs> not yet, you're not. You haven't given away. Uh, well, I'm negative 100 yet. right now, but uh, I'll be negative 200 by the end of the day. Yeah, make sure you guys are sharing that stream lots. Got to have that share badge. And for those that are just tuning in that don't know what the heck I'm talking about. <clears throat> At some point today, Ben and I will pick uh, a shot or two. And if uh, obviously if the first one gets made, then that will be that. But uh, that's what happened yesterday. And uh, so we'll pick a, uh, what we feel is going to be a difficult shot, perhaps a game-changing shot, whatever, whatever the circumstances are. Uh, if the player shooting makes the shot, they will win themselves 50 bucks cash. That will also open up for one of the viewers to win 50 bucks cash. But in order to qualify for that, you've got to have that sharer badge over your name. Really simple to earn that sharer badge. Just share the screen, uh, share the stream and make it public. And just like that, you'll have a sharer badge. And make sure you've liked and followed. That should be a prerequisite. If you're going to join in on a free live stream, that's yeah, a prereq. Uh, pre yeah, that's why it's free, guys. <laughs> We need all the followers we can get so Indeed. pool can be in the spotlight at some point. <laughs> I'll take the 6,500 instead of the 50. You and me both. Right. Then I'd be up 6,300 instead of down two. Yeah. I am also down <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> I may have bought half of myself in the player auction. So... There's that. Well, there's n that's normally <laughs> a good buy. Whoops. Oh, yeah. You can't, you can't not buy. No, of course. Although I think I got the best one so far. Oh, yeah? When I bought myself in the... For like 20 bucks? Stampede Bar Box. Oh, yeah. I bought myself for 20 bucks. And got fourth? And got fourth. Or third. 
No, you got four. Four. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That's all you need yeah. to do. Yeah. Let's do that again. Larry got a good one last week. Bought Paul for 40 bucks. Paul Richens got really? second. Wow, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one, yeah. That's a really good one. I've been told that player auctions are actually not illegal. Only Calcutta's are illegal. S player, huh? player auctions are not illegal. Figure that one out. But <laughs> it's I the don't. same thing. I don't think it is, apparently. <laughs> That's why I, I refer to it as a player auction. You guys are wondering what the heck I was talking about. <laughs> Okay, I'm just super confused right now because yeah. to me they're exactly the same thing. Yeah, we don't we don't have them. We're not allowed Calcutta's. Well, that's we're for not sure. allowed. We're not allowed to do that. We have player meetings. Yeah, we have meetings. Sometimes we do like a last man standing. I like the last man standing ones because mm -hmm. then it's like winner takes all. Right? Yeah. I'm a big fan of the last man standing because then I don't have to pay so much. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out one of the viewers went down a little on the Facebook. That's because they're all watching on YouTube now. Yeah. We still have this almost the exact same amount of viewers we had for the last match. Yeah. Now uh, YouTube's got a, a much better picture. Yeah, you can put it on your TV. Yeah, your Chromecast it. Looks like Adam just is hampered by the seven ball. I can't see the four. He's trying, he's trying to will his eye into yeah. seeing the four, <laughs> but not happening but you know what it's really not that bad of a little hopper straight up and over the seven ball he's only got a sliver of it De depending how tight it is yeah like you you could almost um let's play take the, a look play the small swerve oh it's gonna, no small swerve there because it's gonna throw the ball a lot so you could almost hit the four full yeah it's gonna have so much throw it's gonna want to go in still but yeah i, agree, but I then guess what are you on right. is it gonna hold and you're on the seven probably not who are you guys taking to win, Ronnie O or Trump? I always have to go with Ronnie. I don't know. I think Trump's unstoppable right now, but yeah, that's a tough one to call. How did it? I don't know. They must have already started playing. I think I've, I I always have to go with Ronnie O. So they're they're like seven. The guy is ahead. such a beast. But Trump won that tournament three years in a row. Yeah. Trump's been unstoppable lately. Looks like he's got the jump cue out. Yeah, now. he's got the short stick. You know what? I'm going to go to the other camera yeah, because we'll be uh, see. he's going to be in the way. He is in the way of the shot. He didn't get over the ball. The nice thing was he was jumping his own ball. He was, and he's tied up the 15 ball. Yeah, he got the best of that. So now you're almost forcing him to play the 14 and uh, yeah, he's got bust it, it into the pack. Yeah, he's got to break it out. Adam just looked over and gave me the quivery hand. He's a little <laughs> nervous. <laughs> That's good, though. That's Kevin good. says Trump was winning 8-6 last he saw. Yeah, it's tough. It's a tough one for, for Ronnie there. Oh, I don't know about saving that breakout for later. No. Especially with the angle he's now got on the 10 ball. Mm. That was questionable decision there. Is he going to punch into this now? That's way harder, I think. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, we thanks. certainly appreciate that. Make sure you share it up there, Mark. We always try to put our best foot forward. And you'll uh, you'll start to see a little bit more uh, out of us in upping our uh, our quality levels. That's somewhere in your settings there, Kevin. Sure is. You can actually, uh, you can change the screen size. Or just put it on the biggest screen and uh, Chromecast that to your TV. Ideally. Ideally. I've, I've heard we sound really good in surround sound. Shaw has, uh, Shaw actually has a YouTube app. Oh, really? Yeah. Pretty handy. It so is. It's like easy to show my dad how to use it, you know, so <laughs> if he can figure it out. What did he try there? I'm so not sure. Thought he was Chris Melling for a minute. Right. 
God, that guy comes up with just some genius shots. No, was he actually playing the four rail there? It looked like he hit it like he was playing the four rail. He must have been playing the four rail. I think so. Or he's playing a two rail and just straightened out a lot. Yep. Oh, that's, oh, a, that's a tough shot. Caught it thick. Tough shot from that angle. Trying to roll it, you know. It's no fun. Forcing the combo. <clears throat> and your your cue ball is going to head away from where the 11 is this, naturally going to go. Yeah, this is the fun one. Control three balls. Yeah. Oh, you just oh, bashed ooh, it. Good. Wow. Just bashed it. Where oh. is this 15 going to end up? In not a bad spot, In a actually. weird spot if you're Adam, yeah. Play the 7 off the 8, maybe just make your life a little easier. I think so. Bump the 8 out. It's, it's almost unmissable, you know. Just don't put the 7 in the heart of the pocket. Right? Yeah, right. But how many times do you do that? <laughs> they all just go off this ball. You yeah. just drill it in the yeah, heart. Yeah, into the heart and just then you sell it out. And then you say... <clears throat> I wish I could do that all the time. <laughs> Just drill it hard. <laughs> there you go, Mark. You have now earned the sharer badge. <clears throat> so at some point uh, throughout the broadcast today, Ben and I will choose a, a difficult shot, and if the player makes that shot, they will earn themselves 50 big dollars just for making the shot. And one of the viewers is going to uh, win 50 bucks. How do we pick the viewer? How did you pick the viewer yesterday? First one to comment after I say go. Okay, uh, sweet. With the share badge. Sweet. Yeah. But we can change that. I mean, we can say no, I like seventh that. or tenth no, or whatever. Like Keep it simple, you know. Simple is good. Aaron won that match, Trevor. Yeah, Fantastic hill, hill. Ran finish. it out on the hill. It was a really, really good match. Gutsy, gutsy finish by Aaron at the end. Sure was. Can he see the cut on the eight? Mm, from there, probably not. It's gotta Is he be. just going to play the safe? Oh, I think he can see it. Looking at the table, looking at the table outside of the screen, I think he can see it. Yeah, it looks tight on the The on problem the is you want to put inside, and it actually pushes the ball yeah, towards, towards 15, 15 more, right? Yeah. And then you hit it thick because you're too worried about pushing it into 15, mm -hmm. right? Bit of a scrappy game here. It is, yeah. CJ will take it, though. Nice draw off the 11. Come to the bottom right-hand side of the table. Just don't hit too much angle and don't end up on the rail. Too much angle. Uh, he can still bump the 8. Just nudge it. Yeah. Tickle it, as they would say. Indeed. Well done. Trading blows back and forth. Yeah. This should make gonna it 2-2. Two, two. Going to be Adam to break. Deuces, they say. The deuce deuce. Isn't that a tennis saying? Deuce. Deuces. Deuce, deuce is a tennis saying. Yeah. Adam's breaking good second ball, so as long as he can come with another one of those, he can get right mm -hmm. back on track here. Mm -hmm. uh, only can win once per tournament, the viewer winner, yes. So you won yesterday, Kevin. Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> but Which not sorry. Unfortunately, you won 50 Yeah, bucks. right. And really what it is, is you get paid 25 bucks yesterday for sharing and 25 bucks today for sharing. Oh, very good. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. And I can see you've already got the share badge. Yeah, so. you're, you're good to go. You're, you're good. And we're hoping no one would say that, Brian, but thanks. Thanks, <laughs> yeah, for, right. thanks for being a sharer. <laughs> we'll let that one slide. Yeah, we'll... Uh... <clears throat> Another wide open break from Adam. He's crushing the second ball. Sure is. Balls They're do sitting not. up really nicely. Yeah. They don't often spread this well when you hit second ball. Yeah. High ball for me all day yeah, long. The, the only questionable ball is 
The one by the four ball up there. The past 13 the four. ball. It passes all day it long. It sure does. 13 will pass to the top right. He's you know, got the side option. The nice thing about these racks is you can't shoot a low ball. You had no opening shot. Yeah, true so enough. So it's like, well, if you, you have no option, it's so much easier to think through it. Absolutely. Instead of trying to think, oh, what's the best option here? <laughs> right. well, he's going to get rid of one of these trouble balls right now. Yeah, it's actually not that tight. He's it's gonna, not. He's got, lie, he's got drive a truck through there. Good shot there. And <laughs> I'm feeling childish today, says Brian. <laughs> well, hey, at least you're honest about it. Just today, Brian. Right? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Came. Oh, of course, came. That's it, not only out of town, all over the planet. Yeah, we want we want people on Mars playing. Yep. If you, uh, if you have a table, know somebody with a table, or are around anywhere that has a bar or pool hall that's open, it is open to anybody anywhere. Don't matter about location. That even includes Warren in Brunswick. He can play if he has a table. Absolutely. Or if he knows somebody with a table. Indeed. We're looking forward to it, guys. We've put a lot, believe me, we've put a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of energy into uh, the uh, into the pool league. Um, it's, it's not something we take lightly. There's really nothing that we do with Q Sports Live that we take lightly. <coughs> we always try to bring our best. And uh, we've really put a lot of thought into the, into the league. Um, more with the players in mind and you'll see once we kind of dive into the details uh, going over what fees are what potential prize pools will be uh, all of those things um, you'll 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 kind of see where our intentions lie um, and it doesn't just stop at the at the start of the pool league um, obviously the the more uh, popular it becomes and the more players we have uh, the more we can really kind of dive down into um, sectioning it off by table size, by table type, so on and so forth. Um, but it doesn't stop even there. We've got ideas past that on what we want to do, what we want to accomplish. I kind of touched on some of that this morning, um, petitioning the um, IOC, getting into the Olympics, all those kinds of things. There is so much stuff we work on behind the scenes um, that we want to, you know, kind of start making some of those things known to be more than you know, just a free live stream that people can tune into on Facebook or YouTube. So, I mean, we, we've been working. The, uh, the pandemic and the shutdown, just because we weren't live, uh, doesn't mean that we weren't active. We were, and uh, you're about to find out all the details. Colton brings up a good point on the YouTube, says, how do I get the share badge? Wombra says, sell your soul to Facebook. And he's absolutely right. <laughs> you can only get the share badge on their Facebook. It is, it is true. But I tell people all the time that don't like Facebook, you don't have to see stuff that you don't want to see. Yeah. You just follow, like, pool pages. That's it. And all you ever see is pool stuff. You don't see none of the political stuff if that's what you don't want to see, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, just add Q Sports Live on Facebook, share it up. You don't have to, like, hang out on Facebook, but... For sure. You can watch pool on Facebook. You certainly can. Is CSL going to host another tournament again? Uh, that kind of goes uh, a little bit into the details that we want to get into on Sunday. I'll touch base real quick. Uh, the short answer is yes. Big time. As yeah. big as we can make them. Yeah, and I can tell you, and again, it's, it's really kind of uh, incumbent on the interest level that we do get uh, with, uh, with the pool league. But uh, our ambition uh, is to have uh, a, a, either a Vegas or a Reno-style uh, tournament that will be open to our league players. And either in front of or behind that event, we will have the Q Sports Live Invitational. Yeah, we'd love to do the Invitational every year if we could. This year, not much of an option there, but... Well, Brian, you, you got it. I mean, you know, the last I, I did research on, on pool and billiards, the IOC does recognize billiards as a sport. The issue is at the government level. Uh, for, so for in Canada, it's the liquor control boards. Um, for the U.S., it is the, um, uh, the gaming commission. 
um, they do not recognize us as a sport. And that is something I have talked to a few different people in regards to, and that will be on the agenda to be rectified. But the league is certainly a big, massive part of that. It gives us a platform um, and a way to, uh, to gain a little bit of power so that our words actually mean something. So it is on the agenda. Todd wants to know how breakfast was. <laughs> still non-existent. <laughs> yep. Uh, still we'll keeping get, fresh. We'll get there. Yeah. Still keeping fresh. Haven't even cracked the eggs yet. Good shot there from yeah, CJ. Really well done. Three, two lead and breaking. So he has broke serve. Adam had a couple chances there. One one was a kick, but before the kick, he was like on a run out and he missed his last ball. Yep. And it was fairly routine. So that's that's like the second time we've seen him do that, right? Mm-hmm. Which tell like if I'm in this match, I'm thinking I should be up four one right now. Yep. Forget about three two down. Should be up four one. Well, and I think this is where if you took uh, the way that you look and the way that you approach. Uh, when you're in a match, this is the time that if you get to the table, you snap one off quick, then you break and one, uh, break and run, and put two to you, two <coughs> ticks on your side in a heartbeat. Quick, yeah. yeah. Before your opponent has a chance to think about being ahead mm -hmm. and confident, you know. Yep, exactly. And you, you, you play the comeback kid almost to perfection. Keep, keep making him doubt it. Yeah, is the thing. I've you watched if you, you, if you ben have them, come back from shit that you just should not come back from. I did it yesterday too. It was down down four nothing. I get it to like down five four. I'm sitting there thinking, ah, if you told me it was gonna be five four when I was down four <laughs> nothing, I'd take it all day long. So the best one I've I've seen you come back from was eight two down to Eric Vargas. It was eight one. Eight one. Derek Moore in the final in Red Deer. Was it Derek? I thought it was Eric. It was Derek. Later on, I think in that, it was both of them. Later on, you I, did it twice yeah, that later match. Later on, I or came twice back. That weekend. I came back against Eric. Yeah, I had one. I was down six three to Carlos. I come back and win seven six in a race in to the nine. same in the same tournament. You're but, down eight one eight, two. eight eight one in the final to Derek. He thought it was two sets. Yeah, <laughs> it was not. <laughs> it's crazy. You play that to perfection. Eight one was a that was a fun one. I'll always remember that too. Well, and I'll remember the shot that you uh, you speared in. You shot the eyes off of it from downtown. That yeah. was against Eric. And uh, that put you hill hill was that shot. <laughs> it was just like, what? Yeah, there's, there's, I can remember a lot of matches, but like those few in that one, and it was all in one tournament. Mm -hmm. It was like, you know. Nine, eight ball, nine ball, ten ball is the triple threat. Like um, yep. the uh, Alberta Bar Box Championships, they called it. Yep. You know what's sick is I, like, I played so good that tournament. I get second master of the table to Eric. Eric just barely edged Holy. me out. Holy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mark, are these guys related? They are not. They are of no relation. Simply this, the same last name. Again, caught that a little bit thick. Although, left a good cue ball. Cue ball's down on the bottom rail. CJ is shooting a low ball, so really not a lot to swing at here. Maybe just hit and stick on the six. I think that's what I'd be attempting to do here. No sense taking a flyer at things. Does he have the one past the 10? Oh, sure does. When you can shoot the eyes off of the ball like that, why not? CJ's a really straight shooter. This guy is a fantastic potter of the ball. That's uh, That was a really, really nice shot. Float up past the three. Three down to the bottom right. <clears throat> Overcut by a millimeter, and he was on the four nicely to develop that stuff over there. He was. And it was uh, a good time to do that because you got the seven sitting on that left side rail. I think 
like if you're Adam, you got to use the 13 to break the 12, 15. So you can't shoot it right now as mm -hmm. much as you'd love to. 10, 14, 11, 13. I think would be the way I would go. Although then you're you're kind of taking away all your soldiers. Yeah, you put all your eggs in one basket doing that. Yeah. It's almost better to like play a little draw shot here and get on the 13 right away. Not so easy though. I think he's on the wrong angle. I think he's to the left of center on that 10. Although you you can look down the barrel, I he's think. pretty straight. And you could take a lot of angle on the 13 and go two rails in behind, right? Yeah. <clears throat> which might be better. Breaking it out from underneath is probably better. Yeah, true enough. Sending the cue ball up table with them. It's not easy. This is not an easy <coughs> spot for him. Just going to take what he can get. I still, I look at the 13 here. You have to look. Mm -hmm. If it's like thin, nicely potable and natural two rails into it do it do it now gotta at least you know contemplate contemplate I think he might that. be a little bit steep that yeah, might be a well, well you want it nice and thin right you do but i think he's almost too thin <coughs> i think you'd actually miss yeah he might be going break out. more towards the six ball which you wouldn't want to do this is this is becoming a little bit tricky. He's got this in the corner. You just roll forward, but I still think you take your approach here and and thin cut two rails in behind. You're gonna have to now because you need to get good movement down there. You can't just nudge it. You kind of have to go for it here. Try and kick the door down. There's a few Adam Smiths out there, but I know the one you're talking about too, Roger. He's a really good player. From Detroit, Adam Smith. Yeah, he's on the rail, back cut. <coughs> I think this naturally tracks towards the six ball. Ben, what do you think? Yeah, you gotta like load it up with left spin and mm -hmm. change the angle. But how do you do that when your cue ball's on the rail? Well, and by doing so, uh, you may bring in that corner pocket if you go and hit too flat on the 13 ball. That's absolutely right. Steve says, Edwin up 4-1 over Stan. So uh, like he's, he's another one that battles back from the B side Oops. or from, from down under. Yeah, yeah. you never know how that's going to go. But yeah. Although with Edwin. Alternate breaks. Yeah. <laughs> Edwin's got a sledgehammer of a break still. I could put Stan out early. Yeah, see, it went straight into the six. Straight to the six. He, does he have this? No, he doesn't have this. He's got to bank this ball. CJ's going to come and have a look. He's like, I'll tell you what I'm going to do before I shoot it. <laughs> Don't worry. He's going to bank it. He's going to bank it. Does the side view show us anything? Oh, he, play, he, he played, played a one-stroke safety. Did not and put that ball in a good spot. Oh... He's he okay. blocked the four. Yeah. <laughs> he blocked the four. <laughs> Adam's going, what My the heck? goodness. Well, Adam I was probably already thinking, I'll just hit the four and it'll be safe. He's mass saying to hit the four. Still a good shot. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like, I don't like putting the 12 back in that mix. You yeah, gotta have I agree. the 12 in the yeah. open if you're going to play safe there, right? Yeah. Guy's just going to punish you over and over again. Mm -hmm. uh, Dean, where can I find the bracket? You can find the bracket on Challenge. When you go there, do a search for High Stakes U580. There are two of those tournaments listed. Don't choose the one that says 38 players. You want the one that says 40. And that will give you the, uh, the brackets for the tournament. What do you do here? Just roll underneath, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really not a lot to do there. Could have done without that little flick. Now he can see the three. Oh, yeah, totally. Like he he wanted full ball on that yeah, three ball. He wanted to force CJ into moving the two. Mm -hmm. I don't think he can make it. But just chip underneath. Yeah, just sit there. And 
I would have re liked putting the three ball way up there, mm -hmm. way up there near the two. You know, give you give you more balls to work on that cluster. Yep, it's still not bad near the side pocket. Is nothing wrong with that. But there you go, Dean, our pin master, David Wilson. Yeah, back doing his duty. <clears throat> but somehow David does not have the share badge. I don't know how that's. Yeah, must David. be the public thing, right? It you is. Gotta make it public. You can't just share it. You gotta make it public. If you make the the share public, you'll earn that share badge. Yeah, and we we don't just want your pool player friends to see it, right? We want everyone in the world Let's to watch. Draw some attention. Ball in hand, CJ. Run, we've got to run it out, I think, from here. You can, if the six goes by the two, I don't think it does. Otherwise, he'd no. shoot it first. I think he's shooting the right ball, though. He's yes. always on the three here. Yeah, you just go into them. You'll, like you said, you'll always have a shot. Can you see the five right yeah, now? Get cool. rid of it right now. That's a little tight, actually. Might require a little bit of right hand spin. Yeah, might require a second look. I didn't think he was going to shoot it right away, but you never know. <laughs> Sometimes they just pull the trigger and make it look easy. Oh, yeah, he had lots of room. Oof, almost missed it to the... Well, he did hit it with just that touch of right spin. Mm -hmm. Pushed it over to the left side of the pocket. <clears throat> there we go, Dean. That's how it's done. Says he shared and has the share badge above his name. <clears throat> Terrence, yes, Terrence. As expected, Terrence has the badge as well. And <laughs> and so he better. <laughs> I would hope. CJ looking good here. Overrun this by probably about two feet. Mm-hmm. But not a problem. Still works. Let's get the cue ball off the rail yeah, here. Yeah, it's Play kind of a punch, top, right? right? Yeah. You don't want to punch it too much, you risk missing it which is kind of what he did there. Mm -hmm. And this eight ball is way tougher than it needed to be. I think he can just float. No need to really kind of. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe, maybe he's got the angle he, or the, the room to punch it in. Yeah, he's floating it, but it's so missable that way. And so I'd almost rather jack up because you don't have to jack up too much. Just jack up a little mm -hmm. middle ball, punch that in there. See, and I don't even know if, uh, I mean, he had a, a decent amount of room between the, the rail and the cue ball. I think just a, a more firm stroke, be sure of it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he could have hit a little more firm with the top still. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I agree. This could That could be a big moment in this match as well. Sort of like the last match, 4-2 or 3-3, three, three, big difference, real big difference. Adam says, I will take that. Race to seven here, uh, Colton. I'm going to have to go walk again. These guys are duking it out, trading blows. Race to four now. Not related, these two. And you're welcome for the stream, Larry. Make sure you click that share button for us. Make sure it's set to public. See if we can get an angle on these sweet trophies. Mark Mapatak, let me tell you, he runs a great tournament. And he did well here with these trophies. I'll show you sort of after Adam breaks. <coughs> He's got he's got some trophies for first, second, and third, and there's also like a champions trophy that'll stay here with you get your name on it, and, and you get one to take home. It's pretty sweet. Give you guys a quick look here for CJ shoots. They're really nice. Nice to have the hardware. I know as a player, I love the hardware. You gotta have trophy can spend the money but you can't spend the trophy I'll give you guys another look at those a little bit we'll zoom in on one 
good day, Kevin Coleman in the house. Loretta rooting on CJ. All the Edmonton fans out there, for sure they know CJ well. Looks like I should give a little shout out to his, uh, he's got a little sponsor there on his shirt, Western Weather Protector Limited. Thank you, Roger. Will Mark Kahuna make a guest appearance on the mic? It'd be great if he did. And we'll get him on, you know, for the semifinal or the final or something, you know, when it gets down a little deeper into the tournament. Ben, these guys are not related. Ben Whitford wants to know any relation. No relation here. Adam with a good shot there. Just going to play a little combination here, deal with the six right now, and I like it. I like where he's going with this. The two and the one are most likely going to be played in the right side pocket. So he could sort of play like the six, seven. Ideally, play the six after. Then you play the four, three, two, one, eight in the side. In a perfect world. Rarely works out that ideal, but you got to have a plan. We hit it pretty firm. Went into those balls. What's going to happen here? Six ties up the 10. CJ's shooting over a ball or possibly the 11 in the side. Shooting pretty quick. Oh, no. He got a bad rub there. He shot that pretty quick. I think he had to take an extra second just make sure where the cue ball was going. Just make sure he didn't get bad rub like he got. Deals with the six from ball in hand. Got good angle on the seven. And I think I still like the same plan. Draw between the 12, 14. Get on the four ball, three ball, one, two, or two, one, however you like it. Sort of depends where you get on the three. Well, he's going up there now. This is going to work out, but there's a million ways that could have not worked out. Shoot the three now, I think. It's got a little angle. Let's get the cue ball off the rail. Shoot the, the one or the two next. <coughs> Is there a picture of the draw? There's no picture yet, but it's on challenge. And thank you, Joel. Uh, Kevin, it's not a foul, but if you mark the cloth, it could be a foul. But you won't see any of these players doing that. The only way that's a foul is if you mark the cloth. Even then, your opponent would have to say, hey, don't mark the cloth. And then you just say, okay, I won't anymore, yeah. right? It's yeah. not like a foul at the time of doing it. It's kind of one of those things. I'm going to try standing for a bit and see if that helps. Oh, yeah. You got to gotta stay moving. Just because my uh, ankles went numb. He's going underneath this one. He's okay. 
was okay. I might have played on top. Just a nice draw shot there. I think I would have played it like with inside down to the bottom rail mm -hmm. and then back out and then that Play the two rail shape yeah. for the side. Yeah, make sure you get there, right? This cue ball's Look in out. all day long. Look out. Went straight in. To the heart. Went straight in there. Adam is just beside himself. He's not going to be thrilled about that, no. No. Uh, is Ray Barry in the tournament? He was supposed to. And then I think work got in the way. As it did for a couple players, actually. Yeah. I know Rob Dayton was yeah. pretty excited to play. He was practicing lots. Got his table redone at home. <laughs> yep. Bang, you got to go to work. Yep. He's like, I make but in, you know, he's like, I make in a week more than yeah. I make in the tournament. Yeah. That's pretty good money in a week, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was telling me about that job, and uh, I told him, man, you'd be crazy not to take yeah, that job. You've got to go. Go all day, guarantee. Especially now. Nowadays, right? To get a land a job like that? Yeah. A lot of people out there are without jobs right now. <laughs> yeah, I got to get that sell out the farm emoji. <laughs> <laughs> that was one, but look at this. CJ's got himself in trouble here. He did. I think he's probably playing the two-way 13 ball light. Yeah, just stay underneath. Was he? Oh, maybe he called the nine. That seemed like a weird ball to call from that angle, to be sure honest. Sure did. And he's going to end up on the 50-yard line. Well, like you said, uh, it, was, he's okay. it was maybe mostly a two-way, so. Yeah. If he had made both balls, he was going to have a tester on mm -hmm. that 12, but it worked out good. Yeah, he did okay. That will work. CJ regains the lead and breaking. Make sure you guys are clicking that share button lot. It's going to be nothing but close matches. Absolutely. We'll give a shout out to one of our longtime sponsors here at Q Sports Live as well. Of course, the one and only JB Cases. Phenomenal, phenomenal product. John Barton, guys, go follow him on Facebook. He does like live auctions yeah. that are incredible. Yeah. You can find some really smoking deals on beautiful cases. Yep. Looks like can't beat the quality. Lifetime warranty on cases, unheard of in the pool world. I think the eight ball is in the wrong spot here. I think so, too. Oh, he recognized it. He didn't hear me. He's, no. That's why I said it quietly. I didn't <laughs> want him to hear. But he's just looking he's right looking at it. Right he's looking right at it. He's breaking second ball. Yeah. Right. It's like, what the heck? What's that black ball doing there? Russ did that yesterday. Did the, he notice? Yeah. He? He's like, oh, I was just about to break. I'm like, I wouldn't even notice. And then I'm like, wait, you made the eight on the last break. I'm like, was <laughs> it in the right spot? <laughs> Because when do you ever make the eight hitting head ball? Yeah, hardly ever. But he made the eight. I'm like, was it on the side of the rack? Right? <laughs> I don't think it was. I think it just got kicked, but that very well could be. Ooh, cue ball unlucky. Goes back through the pack and gets kicked to the side You pocket. know what? I hate to say it. But he had all the stripes on one side of the rack. Yep. And all the solids on the other. And I feel like he somewhat deserved that. <laughs> it's like, if you're going to pattern rack, yep. good things should not happen for you. Mix the balls, people. Yes. Don't don't cheese a pattern rack. Just because there's no tournament rule. <laughs> right. It's like the unwritten rule. It is, totally. You know? Which is why uh, within the Q Sports Live League, we will have that pattern set. This is how they must be racked. It's going to be, it, we'll take some some ideas. I feel like at the lower level, it's not going to matter as much. At the higher level, the players 100%. are going to insist yes. that you have a pattern. They've already been insisted. Because there's going to be like <laughs> soft breaks. And guys of course. Are gonna, yeah. It's going to be, 
you know how I know? Because I have it perfectly worked out on my table at home. <laughs> <laughs> I just like soft break, make both balls inside and run the exact same rack every time. Wow. And you can do like seven or eight pretty easily in a row, right? Wow. <laughs> Before seven you just get eight one funny rack, right? Playing ten ball, mind you. Eight ball would be a little different. Yeah. We'll have to throw some ideas around about the scoring with eight ball too, you know. Say you make two stripes and a solid on the break. Mm-hmm and you miss the opener, how many points do you get? None. Get zero. Haven't mm -hmm. established yet? No establish. Right. Yeah, the Corey Duel special. Yeah, that's the Corey he's, uh He's certainly a, a fan of, uh, of the game. He is uh, one that will study absolutely every aspect of, of that rack. And you can't take it away from him. I mean, no, he's it's <laughs> genius, really, it that is. he figured it out. I've played Corey twice, and it was actually enjoyable to watch how well he could control it. Yeah. First time, steamrolled me. Second time, I was on the hill first. <laughs> <laughs> Up 5-4, I found a way to lose. This is going to require a good stroke here. Over a ball. Stroke test. Wow. Really nice. Especially yeah. considering the last rack, he's going to feel like he kind of handed it away. Yeah. This is what we talked about in the last match, the recovery. Yeah, thing. exactly. Everybody's going to make mistakes. You're going to miss stupid balls. You're going to just make mental errors. How can you recover? Mm-hmm. Might have overcooked that, uh, <laughs> that shot a little bit. But so if he floats the two ball in... Yeah, do you play Once. the four or do you play no. all the way to the one here? I'm going to play the four. I can make a case for both, but yeah, I think the four is a safer way. That way you're underneath the one. Uh-oh. Didn't want to be there with it. No, he's going to have I would have just floated the, floated the natural straight in shot. And then took the four in the corner? Mm-hmm. I'd want to go on the left side of, of tangent. And take it in the right, in mm -hmm. the top right, yeah. He's going to be okay here. Oh, yeah, he hit that really well. He'd rather not, uh, be, rather on not be on the rail, but he'll be okay. That and dipped more to the rail than it was on the natural line. This sucks. I hate this shot. Oh, on the rail playing inside? Yeah. Oh, I missed this 100%. Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm about the same on that shot as Shaquille O'Neal at the free throw <laughs> line. I miss every time. About 12%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Career. If I'm lucky. That was that was really well controlled by Adam. That there. was really well done. And after the scratch on the break from CJ, Adam coming with the run out. They're trading blows back and forth. Race to three. Let's see if somebody can hold their serve here. It's been uh, steal the other guy's break fest. Roger says Corey is a class act. <clears throat> Super classy guy, yeah. Definitely real nice guy. A party animal, <laughs> as we found out. He's like, I drink like he was twice double, a year. <laughs> double fisting <laughs> wines. And I believe it because I've seen him in other tournaments. He's never, like, he just doesn't drink, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not at Four Bears. <laughs> at Four double Bears. Double fisted yeah. with wine. Yeah. If you guys ever get a chance to go to that tournament, Ray Poitra and those guys, they put on a fantastic show. And if you happen to get deep in the tournament, they'll take you out for drinks after. It's great. Oh, yeah. Time. It's a great time. It's just like Shane Van Boning and Corey Duell. It's no big deal. You yeah, know? right. Just sit down, have well, dinner and some drinks. Right? So they invited us after uh, after the last stream that we did for Four Bears. Uh, they invited us to, to have a few cocktails. And I went in with the full intention of only having one or two. Yeah, like Grant drinks as much as Corey Duell. <laughs> yeah. Like twice a year. Yeah. And uh, went in <coughs> just no intention of... Uh, of going hard at it, but uh, that's kind of how it ended up. Yeah, they're just, they're great, to see, great hosts. To see Corey Duel double fisting wines made me just howl. Yeah, it was pretty funny. I, I still have a picture somewhere. He's yeah, got there's like three, video. He's got like three glass of wine in front yeah. of him. Yeah, video too, yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it was, I believe it was Corey. Uh, so Lan and Steph and uh, a couple other of the ladies were there and... Uh, Corey danced with uh, with Lan first, and then came up to Steph. And oh no, sorry, it was Steph first. So Corey's out there dancing with uh, 
with my wife and then comes back and dances with uh, with Lan. And then. And then comes back and asks Steph, Steph again and she shot him down and. There was one more in there. I think there's a video of oh, Corey dancing shit. with Clad or somebody. I think he dances with Clat for a little while. No, it was me. Was it you? <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, we were Cause strutting around the, uh, the dance J floor. Jason was there too, and it was fun. Oh, maybe it was Jason that... Uh, Might have been you and Jason. <laughs> oh, it was definitely me and Jason. <laughs> Slow dancing out on the bloody dance. What, what, what were we doing? That's funny. That tournament is a lot well, of fun. Well, I felt bad. So this is what happened: is when Corey, or sorry, when uh, when Jason um, danced with Lan, then danced with Steph, asked Steph again, and Steph was no. She kind of oh shut yeah, him so down. I felt bad for him, I'm so I'm like, there. oh, I'll go, Let's go, I'll go dance with you. <laughs> I didn't think he'd take me up on it. Oh yeah, he took you right he up. He sure on. did. <laughs> Jason's a fun guy. At too. least I still got to lead. <laughs> If there's a consolation the prize somewhere in that uh, conversation. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that counts as good or not, but Yeah. That's a fun tournament. Lots of lots of big dogs there all the time. Oh and yeah. And it was it was a lot of fun. There's so much fun, you know. Like yeah. Roberto. Oh my god. Oh Superman was awesome. How much fun is that guy? Yeah. <laughs> he was a lot of fun. And just a card. Such a card at the pool table. He has more fun. Right, than if he's anyone. comfortable at the pool table, that guy has more fun than anybody else I've ever seen. Yeah, he's like entertaining the crowd in between matches with weird little shots and him and I were laughing because you know he would hit his break like as hard as anyone's ever hit it and yeah. nothing went in and I'm like, You're not you don't break very good. <laughs> <laughs> so he tries like ten more times and breaks dry like nine. Oh, wow. And we're both just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lot of fun. That whole that whole trip, uh, we did the uh, Four Bears a couple of times and was yeah. always a good time. But, yeah, I mean, I you know, it's it's testament to, uh, to Ray Poitra and his guys down there that uh, <laughs> put on that event. That's the longest running tournament in American history, I believe. Second. Second? Second longest yeah. to the Texas Open, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, they do such a phenomenal job. Oh, they have, like, junior program there yeah. where the kids win, like, cues and sweet trophies, like, giant yeah, trophies. Yeah, as big as the kids. Oh, it's so great. And the best thing about it is a player like you or I can go there, mm -hmm. draw Shane, and maybe beat him because oh, it's on a valley of box. Course. right? right. Yeah, I beat, I beat players like, you know, Gabe Owen, mm -hmm. former U.S. Open 9-ball champ. Mm -hmm. Just spanked him. Yeah. <laughs> Skylar Woodward on the stream table. Yeah. The, the year before we went and streamed was the first year I went. I beat Skylar like 7-2 on the stream table. Oh, wow. Never lost to him in my life is what I tell people. <laughs> <The one -in> <laughs> Only played him once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I played Shane and lost 7 nothing. That was fun. All right. But it's sweet. You get a chance to play those guys. Yeah, right? no doubt. Right? Where else do you get that? Yeah. Uh, Four Bears is a great tournament. That yeah. is in uh, in North Dakota. Newtown, it's called. Yes. Newtown, Newtown North Dakota. Which is a nice spot because you can kind of get there from anywhere. Yeah. You know? It's worth going even if you're like in BC. It's worth mm -hmm. even if you got to drive. It's worth it. Well, and and for us uh, for us knuckleheads. We drop down over the border right away, and we get cheap gas, and yeah, it's awesome. Man. Shoot the rest of the way over. Should be mentioned that the prize pool is gigantic. It too. is. They add 10k to the to the men's event, mm -hmm. and they add a, a bunch to the women's event, and a yeah. bunch to the juniors, and all of the uh, the second chance tournaments. I think there's thirty five thousand dollars added. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's huge. Yeah. And they uh, they do have Calcutta's uh, at that event, and they were astronomical. For first year I went, it was ten thousand first prize in the tournament. Yeah. Ten thousand first prize in the Calcutta. Yep. You make twenty grand. Yeah. And I went for like oh. I went for like three hundred in the Calcutta. Yeah. Which you'd think is pretty high because nobody knew who the hell I was. Yeah. I was just up five one on John Mora and lost. Mm. Johnny was over there like bidding me up, right? <laughs> <laughs> So the first year I went for quite a bit in the Calcutta, but it would have been sweet to win 300 yeah. bucks, win 10k. Absolutely. Shane went for like 6,000. <laughs> Jeez. 
Roberto for like four. You know, <laughs> it was like the hugest Calcutta ever. Yeah, we got a we got a lot of stories, Kevin. Uh, we've we've certainly done our fair share of traveling. I hope but you all guys, good times, man. And I hope you guys enjoy the stories too. Oh, know? look at this shot. We we could literally just do play by play the entire time, but I, I feel like it gets it gets a little dry. So yeah. you got to mix in some stories. Yeah, right? of course. I know when I'm listening to pool commentary. Oh, the stories are what makes it. That's right? exactly what makes it. You can get a little insight on some of the players. Well, and really, how often is uh, are you going to hear you know stories about Jason and Corey and you know all those guys and especially kind of the behind the scenes stories that uh, you know you wouldn't necessarily know. Well, and right? I can't necessarily tell you stories about these guys in particular because. I don't know who's listening. Yeah. <laughs> and if they want me to tell those <laughs> stories, right? <laughs> Correct. But yes. yeah, the dancing with uh with Jason Clatt, that was uh it's one that's for the record. One books. I will not soon forget, even though I probably should. <clears throat> yeah. I didn't remember much the next day. <laughs> yeah, right. Just the brutal drive home, you know. <laughs> I beat Stephen O'Lem when he was like sixteen for twenty bucks. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that's that's one to mark on the calendar for sure. Yeah, absolutely. He's uh, he's no easy feat to beat. Missed bank shot from Adam. Looks like the stolen break could continue here. Play the two, draw into the six a little, I think, is the shot. Unless the six goes. If the six goes by the four, he can do a nice little draw shot. Obviously, it didn't go. Yeah, it did not, did not quite. This, this will work out nicely. Yeah, now the six goes inside. Yeah. Six. Do you play the four or the five first? Yeah, I, I like the four. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, apparently you play the five first. <laughs> wow, that was a little. I'm still playing the six. Yeah. Six yeah. goes to the top left. Yeah, if you don't like that, you can play it to the side next, too. Yeah. I don't mind that either. But now I'm like you. I like to play it when it was straight in there. Because oh, now you have too much angle here. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> he wow. gives a little nod of approval like, I should have thought of that. Mm-hmm. Oh, he got a good rub there, let he me tell you. He sure did. Got away with murder. Hmm. That's, uh, I'm not sure whether that was intended or he just said, I'm just going to shoot it. Just see what happens. See what I get. Should be Plays over there. Plays the horn shape. Oh, nice. That's one way to get the cue ball off the rail. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Uh, when might the B finals be? Well, I would probably suggest somewhere around 7 o'clock-ish. The B maybe finals? Nine, yeah. 9 o'clock maybe? Yeah, I'm going to guess closer to 9. We'll, uh, we'll keep you guys informed as it's getting closer. The man, Stan, come to say hi, can Mr. Only, Tarango. Can only mean one thing. <laughs> <laughs> that can only when, mean When they told us Edwin was up 4-1, that was near, nearing the end. Yes. I like how Clark brought up the uh, the final shot from Huey at the Canadians. You oh, want to talk about a story and a shot man. you'll never forget? Yeah, of course. I happen to be on the camera. CJ did get out there, it looked like. Yeah, I happen to be on the camera. And, and the, the cool thing about that whole way that that whole thing happened, um, they kind of had a funny feeling that that would have been um, Barry's last run at uh, in Niagara Falls. And they wanted him to be the one to kind of claim victory. So in the finals, um, if you go back and you watch that stream, it's Joe Spence on the other table, and he's damn near running it's like in between shots to, to try to clear out the table before Barry gets finished. Yeah, to make and sure he gets a win. Yeah, yeah. and so Barry kind of got uh, uh, left himself a, uh, a kick yeah, on hooked, the eight ball. Hooked himself on the eight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> left himself a kick. And if you watch the camera, um, I'm on Joe, and as Joe makes that eight ball, I flip over to... Barry just in time. just in time to watch him kick in that eight ball and, yell, and that was cinched and yell one time as loud as yeah I and I yelled from my house 
<laughs> I'm watching by myself in my house. And you my, yelled it, didn't my you? My neighbors heard me. Yeah. <laughs> One time. <laughs> oh, that was an awesome story. Priceless, yeah. priceless moment in pool history. I agree. That was such a really, really special moment. Should have that one on the on the video. The intro. I agree. Video. Yeah. What are you thinking? What was I thinking? <laughs> we still have time. It's like a draft video. You know, we're gonna we're gonna alter it now. <laughs> yep. We can just add that one. Yeah, we could just add, add that to the mix. It's gotta be. That's in gotta there. be in there for sure. But that was such a such a cool moment. Oh yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. kind of puts the lump in your throat and your eyes well up a little bit. That was a big time shot. Yeah. <laughs> so many memories, right? And that's that's kind of the part that I missed over over COVID, right? As as much as this can be uh, laborious and and you know all of the the hardships in in setting up and tearing down and long hours and all that kind of stuff it's it's those moments that make all of it so worth For it sure they do yeah. absolutely and i've uh, i've kind of missed all of that through covid and and you know not being able to go live and i said this yesterday you know seeing all the regular viewers come back and ah this is uh, this is why i love doing what we do Looks like Tom is having trouble with the link. Tom, you might be better off just go to the Challenge website and just look it up. Yeah, or just copy and paste that into the URL. Um, Even better. Sometimes that link doesn't go live and clicking on it won't open. But if you copy and paste that into uh, into your, your URL, um, that should bring it up. That's why they pay you the big box grant. Every now and again. <laughs> But failing both of those. The uh, minus yeah. 200 bucks this weekend. Grant's taking money out of his own pocket to give away to you guys. It's true. Which is okay. I, mean, I, don't, uh, I don't mind it. But failing both of those attempts, uh, just go on to Challenge. And then uh, when you're on Challenge, search for high stakes U580. It'll bring up two tournaments. Just choose the one that has 40 players, not 38. What's up, Lou from New Jersey? Lou in the house. How are you, sir? And again, right, that's that's part of what I miss. All of the regular viewers that come on, support oh, yeah. what it is we do. Um, I've, I've really, really missed that aspect. Lou's got to make sure he's got that share badge on in case he gets a chance to win some money later. Of course. Oh, that could be, could be a very costly, costly yeah, mistake for Adam there. Yeah. Five five or six four, big big difference there. Yeah. The CJ on the hill in about two minutes. Yep. Five. Five three seven one six eight. Yeah, I like it. He's thinking one first, maybe. Yeah, maybe the one first here, and same well, same Now with that angle, yeah. It's easy to get blinded here. And yeah, it think really you is. You need to play the three in the side. Yeah, well, it's so easy. It's complicated. I hate it when that happens because mm -hmm. I just want to shoot, shoot, shoot. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't want to think. Yeah. Then when I have to think, it's no good. <laughs> Thinking sucks. It's like smoke pouring out <laughs> of my ears. You know. It's so overrated. Who wants to think? Oh, he's well short. On oh, this way, way, way short. You can see the six though. Yep. He's going to play it out like that was his intention. He yep. Just shoot oh, quick. Oh, you got to get by that 14. Making it work. I don't know if this works that well. Ah, I just bump into the 13. It's, it's, a, it's big, a little hit in the hope. But it's a big bump because, yeah, you got to well, hit this you really gotta watch. Thin. Yeah, and you got to hope the 13 doesn't shove the 8 just to the rail. Yeah. That good, would be. Good uh, chance it does. Yeah. Or it banks it to the left side rail. That would not be ideal. Oh. Wow. I certainly didn't see that. Shoot thin, thin Pretty the 13, thin. and that pocket is a monster. Pretty thin there. Chewing up that cue ball. Hey, no worries, Tom. We got you. Uh, 
Adam will graciously accept that. Oh, he's got to already be thinking he was down 6-4. Oh, yeah, and all of a sudden sure. it's 5-5. Five, five. You're like, this is gravy. And I'm breaking. Yeah. What could be better? Get to the hill first. <clears throat> Some struggles have been seen in this match. Mm -hmm. These guys, there's a chance they're starting to think about their in the money. Of and course. And now the pay jumps are getting big. Yep. Well, we'll see for CJ if he takes that loss and uses that as fire or whether it lets uh, whether he lets it tear him up. Yeah, if it, it can tear you up inside for sure. But I mean, there's a good chance they're thinking about, I think it's 700 for seventh, eighth. Mm -hmm. And it's 1,200 for fifth, sixth. Yeah, it's a $500 jump. So you're playing a $500 match. How many $500 matches have these guys played? Correct. Right? Yep. Well, um, it, it, it only gets tougher from there. The money jumps go even bigger. I haven't played that many $500 matches, and I still get nervous and think about the money. Of course. $500. You know what I could spend this money on? Oh, I'm, no doubt. I'm You're already, human. like, penciling in what I'm going to spend <laughs> it on. <right? laughs> oh, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to pay that bill. Well, I, I didn't anticipate that I would uh, come up with an idea yesterday that would have cost me a couple hundred bucks. But Well, it's, it's a good idea, though. It is a good idea. And you know what? Uh, I think the viewers deserve it. You guys have always supported what it is that we're uh, we're doing, so absolutely. I think it's a a worthwhile investment. Absolutely, it is. <laughs> it's pocket change. Another huge break from Adam, but he didn't get the same spread he's been getting. This is much more congested. So, do you figure that could be a CSL turning point? Is that, that the point that where miss, things flip over? There's been a couple in this match. Yeah, I suppose. It's been flip-flopping. Mm, this is not easy. Does he see that 10 ball? I think he does. If he does, this isn't that bad. But, man, you've got to probably throw it a lot to get it to work. Well, you kind of you know? want to clip the 15 here, too. <clears throat> I don't think you can see enough to throw this ball in. So what about playing off the 15? Just even, play the rub. Even They're really close. Uh, even then, I don't think you can see enough. Like, to, to cut it enough. I don't think it will. I gotta hurry up. Ah, you're okay. We're still on the front view. Just played it containing. That's not a bad shot. It's not ideal, but he does, he does have control. Yeah, he's full in on that five, no problem. Breaks out, but yeah, I got but stuck. he got stuck big time. There's lots of safeties here underneath the 13, I think is probably best. Get it nice and tight to the 13. Freezing to your opponent's ball is never a bad play. No, for sure. Because that really limits their options. I think that's what he attempted to do. Yeah. He but is the three going to get there? Uh, uh, nope. Yeah, you can see he pointed back there yeah. right away. He's like, ah, he's yeah. just wanted to be back there, you know? He was channeling his inner Ben Francis there. Terrence, On the sounds, attempt, anyway. It sounds like the sound distorting is from, like, the connection in here, more or less. Yeah. So you can see they're over at the point of sale machine right now, playing on the computer and all kinds of stuff, and that has a direct effect on our feed so oh. just bear with it it will come back sometimes you can reset it it'll come back for you brian you got to make sure when you share it's public that way you get that share badge we know you're a sharer otherwise we don't know got no way of telling and we want to be public because we don't just want all your pool friends to see it yeah make it public we want people earn who yourself that don't share badge pool. yeah back cut the 14 off the 10 ball this is like a bit of a bit of a hidden hope, really. Where I does the ten and the fifteen and the uh, eight go and the cue ball and you're controlling like five balls? I think here. the ten goes and kind of snuggles to the fifteen ball. Yeah, you got to be careful, right? Controlling five balls. Oh, he got really unlucky there. He sure did. 
Does he have enough of the nine to draw back up into uh, that 14-10? Could swing around oh, three rails. He's got to make a plan for the eight ball here too because that eight went in a weird spot. You could draw into the top side of the eight and then mm -hmm. play the combo or the bank. How about just chip off the uh, 15 and leave the cue ball right there? Freeze back there and you push mm -hmm. the 10 a little more towards the side, kind mm -hmm. of open that up a hair. Yeah. Okay. If you just use the 10 to stop the 15 cue ball off the rail and freeze to the back side of that. Pretty much. That's It's delicate, but that's it probably is. the right yeah. shot because even if you get it wrong, you're only letting him see the seven, and yeah. the seven doesn't go. Yeah. But then he can just play a smart shot and put you in jail, like by flicking the seven and put you up table somewhere. Yeah. And I prefer, and I always do, the aggressive play, of which course. is play this combo, break out the eight, bank the next ball, <laughs> bank the eight, shoot the eyes off of it it's from like distance. Whatever I got to do. Yeah. If I got to bank the last three, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Does the aggression pay off? It sure does. It sure does. What's he doing with the eight ball, though? That's the question now. Is he even on the right side of this 10 to get the cue ball I down where he's, he's looking? I think he's pretty straight. Are we on the side? Are we close enough on the side view? Maybe see how straight he is? I can get us there if he uh, stands out of the way. Yeah, we're going to wait till he moves around here again. Oh, there we go. No, he's on the wrong side. You know what? He can hit this straight on with right-hand spin. I go back to the other view because he's going to be in the way here. Yeah. He could hit that straight on with right-hand spin, draw straight back. And Yeah, this is not easy. Yeah, it's I think not. you got to move it. I think you got to move it, right? The eight? Yeah, you do. So For like, sure. Yeah, that right spin draw. you got to really control the right spin, mm -hmm. not get too much or too little. Oh, and didn't want the rub on the two. He was there. Yeah, he, he hit it perfect so if he there. didn't flick it. He's still got a shot here. Yeah, a bank, he can I still think. cross bank this. Side pocket. Thank you, Will, for sharing. Yeah, CJ just wanted to make sure. You're not going to play it where the two is, are you? <laughs> yeah. Adam uh, says, no, no, I'm going I'm to no. bank it. You can yeah. stay in your seat. This is a big shot. Oh, huge. This gets one of them to the hill first. Yeah, the unfortunate thing is one of these guys is going to be out of the tournament after this match. Both playing great. Just watch the scratch as well. Top right-hand corner. Whoa, or the or side. Or the oh, side. Man, no way off. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Off the four scratch. <laughs> no, never in the side, would you have thought? Nope. I wouldn't have seen that. I'm not rooting for either one of these guys. You know, I'm kind of like, I'm not biased here. I, I know Adam better than I know CJ, but I just wanted to see him make that shot. You know? Yeah, for sure. Just wanted to see him do it. Anytime you can have a storybook ending, I'm a fan of. Like Aaron beating Sandy with a fantastic right. out after, you know, kind of dogging it twice. Yeah. Well, and I put oh, Sandy impressive. up as my as one of my top picks. Uh, for not not just her potting ability, I think we talked about this before. Uh, not just her potting ability, but the uh, the experience that she's got. And to watch Aaron bring it hill hill and run that rack out, and that was no easy rack to run. Fearlessly run yeah. out. Yeah. I'm a fan. Good pot there from CJ. Yeah, really well done. He's struggling a little here to keep this cue ball under control, but he's good. Two rails, lots of low right. It's good. It's a good shot. Same type of shot. Maybe got a little straight. I was going to say same type of shot for eight back to the side. If he goes forward with it. This will work all day long. Yeah, that's, that's good. Looks like CJ going to the hill first. Indeed. And breaking for the match. That's the spot you want to be in. Yeah, he's the got fate of your uh, of your tournament is in your own hands. That's where you want it to be. Yeah, he's got to love this spot. 
anytime you're in this spot, you got to just tell yourself you love it. Mm. Even if you're feeling a little nervous, you're like, yeah. nope, I'm in control. One That's good it. break. Yep, one good break. I always say one good break. Just give me one. One wide open duck out. <laughs> right? Put all the balls over a pocket. Is that too much to ask for every time? Right? <laughs> Can I just be straight in on the first ball? You know, it's... With it, four it, balls <laughs> over a hole. Unfortunately, the, Q, uh, the, the, uh, the pool gods um, perhaps see it in a, in a different way. Yeah, it never happens. Yeah. It's like one out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> We'll reward you a little bit for the, but for the most part, yeah. no, you're gonna have to work for the it. The other nine times, you have that little out that Aaron had to negotiate. Yeah, in the exactly. Last match. Yeah. Well, he went to head ball there. He went to head ball there. He was breaking second ball. Oh, this is. It's not terrible. He does have the combo if he chooses 14, five ball. Yeah, and the seven up there by the eight will open the six. And the one ball can potentially lead you to the seven. So this isn't that bad of a it's look. It's not terrible, no. Play the combo, and then you can play the two or the four after the combo. Well, and really, if you do the combo, the 14-5 the, uh, combo, you start with that. That'll build your confidence right from the start of this rack. It'll either make or break you. Yeah. Right? Well, it's definitely a make or break shot, because if you miss it... Yeah, it's wide open space. It's pretty open. I mean, that's seven... Six, it looks like trouble, but it's really not. No, you can still float to the to the right side of the eight. From any angle, yeah. you're good. And if you move the two ball first, even if you're straight in on the seven, you play the six in the bottom left. Yeah. So you might not even have to move anything here, which is nice when you don't have to move any balls. A little far here. Wow, wanted oh. to... Uh, a little laggy wanted there. Wanted to hit that a little bit firmer than that. Sorry it's about kind the, of the lag there. We oh, got, they we don't got that, see that on our end. Yeah, that they don't see that. That was just a computer. Good. When it brings up the clean. Good, good. Yeah, he definitely, uh, I don't think that two squeezes by that one ball. Not on a diamond table. Valley table, you could probably cheat and get away with that. No. But it's not so much on a on a diamond table. I don't see his options here as being mm. great. The only shot I can see is cut the two ball back into the left side pocket. What about play it off the nine? How big is the hole if you play it off the nine? Uh, it's still a your your back cut to um, a chip back cut. No, I like if you just hit the two straight. I think you still got to put uh, put some angle on that. Yeah, he's gonna. I think, I think he I, called the I one. I think he's. He called the one. Oh my. Gosh, and he put a stroke on that and barely missed. Didn't miss that by much. Called the one, hit a break speed. No good. Bent down and fired. And he, did, he didn't miss it by much. <laughs> Double bobble in the pocket. Crazy close to it. Like, to get that close at that speed? Yeah. Fantastic. Pretty good. So it tells me if he would have not put... Excuse me, not put as much power into that. He probably makes it. But then again, does his line stay that straight? Yeah. Probably not, too, you know? Yeah. True enough. Uh-oh. you got to make a quick plan for this 10 ball down here. You don't want to save that till the end. Yeah, and he kind of got into Never Never Land here. Does the 8 pass into the top right by the 6? Otherwise, he's got to move that, too, and that's no fun. If he has to move the eight, he's going to do it right now. Yeah, that's kind of where I would be thinking. Oh, he's shooting the 11. Yeah, so that tells and me he's the going eight. back into Never Never Land. Tells me the eight goes at least. Hmm. I think you flick the 10, make the four. And you leave the cue ball on this first diamond, on the bottom rail. You can let him see the three. If he pots a three from the cue ball close to the railing, let him have it. Oh, he, what about the one ball sitting up there on the left rail? Again, if he could somehow pot that from the cue ball on the rail down here, I don't I don't mind letting him shoot it. I think I'm, I'm going to shoot the 12 ball bottom left, draw around, hopefully a miss all the pack. 
Yeah, you could draw around. That was my first thought was draw around the pack, but man. You gotta miss it's, that seven. It's, it's a little tough. risky. Oh, the combo. Oh, well, here you go. How about the combo? How about that? And then just get <laughs> and perfect just land, on the 10. And just land straight in. How come we don't see stuff like that? Have we played this game before? I feel like I've never <laughs> played this game before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we have the board up? Yes, straw sheets are available on CompuSport. Challenge. Or Sorry, on Challenge, yes. Uh, when you go there, uh, high stakes U580. And uh, that'll bring up two brackets. You'll want the one that has uh, 40 players, not 38. And um, we are at the Leather Pocket in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Really nice pool room here, guys. If you're ever in the area, come check it out. Mm -hmm. Lots of diamond tables, seven foots, nine foots. Some valleys, uh, if you prefer valley. Oh, that is, oh, wow. that's a cold roll is what we call that because he did not deserve to be there. That is the pool player definition of a cold deck right there. Yeah. Now he's got to jump this ball. Is he going to go the kick? One rail kick. Kick just gets you to nowhere. Yeah, I would agree. Gets you to play this, the eight ball off the six. Pretty much, yeah. That's what he's going to do. Unless you put some mustard on this, hit it with some heat. Look at that. It's a good pot, but I mean, it, it's not worth anything if you don't cut this ball in. Well, you've got the two there as a stopper, so there's no fear of scratch here. Yeah, you just hit it with top. I mean, you always think that, and then it just hits the ball full and follows through. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know how Which many is not ideal. But but you got to take that chance here. It's yeah, not like you're going to play it with draw. No. You're you got to middle, middle ball this, maybe a little top. This is something I'm taking my time on. This is tournament life. Oh, Undercuts. Overcut it by a hair. Yeah, sorry, overcut by it. By a hair. That's like instant death to where he left it. Oh, yeah. Because even if CJ makes a mistake here, he's going to always yeah. have a safety. Yeah. He looked to see if the six went first, and I don't think it does. So he needs to be on the other side of those balls. Which is still going to be fine. He can get it right here. He could play safe here. Could, yeah. This yep. is like the... Oh, yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. Oh, that was dangerous. He almost let it peek out. <laughs> he sure did. Took that a little cavalier. That safety. You know, as much as it seemed like the right shot, it's still risky. What if Adam just jumps and cuts this in? Yeah. Then you feel like a dummy because you could have ran out. Of course. You just had to... It was a little difficult, right? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I hate that because like oh, me too. guys like Steven, they just jump this in for lunch. <laughs> yeah, then they eat you for dinner. Pretty much. Yeah, guys like Joe, Steven, Eric, they you. just find ways out of this. Ben, ben Francis would find his way out of here. Yeah, I might jump this in too. Might jump cut this. I don't know about kicking it. I feel like he doesn't have much of the ball. No, kicking. I don't think there's enough there to kick behind the seven. He's looking. He's looking. Uh, you might get the hit, but you're certainly not getting the make. It'd have to be perfect. It might even require a little spin to throw it. Yeah. I like mean, if you really want to channel your inner effort, you can Z-kick this. Yeah. Yeah, you could. You could. You'd have to hit it break speed to get it to straighten out. Mm-hmm. Like close to the one and hit it really hard. Maybe put a touch of left hand on that as well. He almost made it. I can't believe he got that close. Like millimeter on the ball from making that shot. Wow. Incredible effort there. <clears throat> Came about this far from making the kick. I thought he hit it perfect. Wow. He hit like just on the top rail, just before the horn. Incredible effort. CJ's got himself on the wrong side of the two. Yes, and that was the thing with the kick. He's like put pressure on CJ again. Yeah. CJ's thinking, okay, no more safeties, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> the guy just about kicked. Uh oh. 
Ah. Uh, uh oh. Easy to stay behind the seven here, I think. You just hit it thin. The seven's going to stay relatively where it is. And you send the cue ball to the side rail, left side rail. Shouldn't be too bad. Well, I don't envy this position. I can tell you that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just thin it and don't scratch and mm -hmm. just and stay around there. He's calling the bank shot. Two-way shot. Yeah. But but you're leaving your opponent now. We saw this in the last match. We sure did. Sandy just drilled the bank and got mm -hmm. it hill hill. You think Ooh. it can happen again? Oh, of course. <laughs> the pool gods are nasty like that. Adam can play this a little bit two-way as he well. He can. Keep yeah. that cue ball up there. Just leave it on that side rail. Nice touchy draw shot. Yeah, even on the top rail here is not bad. Just close to a rail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> make the seven really tough, right? And make the six, like, not an option. Yep. Oh, he's playing top. I don't like top. Nope, me don't neither. Like top. Don't like top. Nope. you got to draw that. I mean, uh, you could play below it with top, but... Oh, yeah. Nope. You missed the bank by a foot. Well, there was something to be said, uh, we said earlier as well, trying to close out the match. Trying to finish. And this cue ball might be tracking dangerously towards the side, so he's not going to love this shot, but he should be okay. <coughs> Even Josh Morin says, brr, some cold rolls going oh, on here. Oh, no yeah. doubt. <coughs> Look at this. Uh oh. Just struggling to finish. Oh my goodness. And I'm wondering if that's a little bit of nerves coming oh, into play. Absolutely. Right? Yes. You're on the hill, closing out the match, on the stream, yeah, $500 you're, match. You're almost, oh, even that oh. ball. I'm telling you, wow. this is like, I've been in that spot. Oh, yeah, you're my shaking knees, at the knees. My knees, man. That's the worst feeling. <laughs> But at the same time, the best. Yeah, this is what we play That's for. That's exactly what you play the game for. Hundred percent. This exact moment where you're just shaking like a leaf. In the heart it goes. Gives oh. the old fist bump. See, there was nerves oh, there because he was really nerves. excited to win that match. He sure was. C.J. Smith coming out victorious over Adam, taking the match home. Once again, we're going to do a quick shutdown restart, guys. Get the next set of matches locked, loaded, ready to rock and roll. And we will be back with you. Don't go far. We'll be back in a GIF. On behalf of myself, Ben Francis, and the rest of the Q Sports Live team, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Don't go far. We'll be back in a GIF. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>